guys, Wee Man here. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while. Uh, school's winding down here now, coming up to Christmas break, so finals are coming, so I've been finishing up, you know, projects and stuff like that. So, anyways, what this video today is going to be about is a review of the T-Mobile MyTouch 3G. Um, this is a new Google phone. Um, I've got it in a case here that I bought from the mall. Um, but you can see it's pretty thin here. Um, so yeah, I got the white one. I'm not going to do too much showing of actual on-screen stuff just because I'm using my eyes. I don't have a good camera, so it's just going to be blurry. But anyways, to unlock it, well, here I'll go over the exterior of the phone here. So you've got your home key over here, a menu key. Then on the other side here, you've got a back button and a search button right here. Then you've got your call right here and your end button. And then you got a ball here in the middle, just like on the Blackberry Pearl and most the older Blackberries anyway had a ball. Now it's the touch thing, but and this clicks in also. So to unlock it, you press any key and the screen comes on and you press the menu button again and it unlocks it brings you right to your home screen there um, now you've got three of them and then scroll over there you got there scroll over again you got there um, you can add widgets you simply hold down on here try this again here you hold down then you can see there it comes up I don't know if you can read or not, but shortcuts, widgets, folders, and wallpapers. Um, for shortcuts, you can add things like shortcuts to applications, bookmarks, contacts, direct dial, direct message, directions with Google Maps, which I'll get into that later, um, email, Gmail label, music playlist, and settings. Um, so those are shortcuts for your widgets. You can download more from the App Store, but some of them are analog clock, calendar, Facebook, Music, Pandora, Picture Frame, Power Control, Search, and as I said, you can download more from the App Store, and some of those are from the App Store. Not all of those come on here. Um, so those are your widgets. You can add folders. You can add new folder, contacts, contacts with phone numbers. So you can just add a bunch of stuff, and you can add wallpapers. You want to change your wallpaper. Uh, you can do that too. Um, now I'll talk about the marketplace here. The Android marketplace I think is the closest to Apple's probably um, in my opinion anyways there's a lot of applications on the App Store for free and also there are paid apps um, just like any other App Store obviously um, but all your updates are done from the App Store um, you know, stuff like that. Let's see here if I can get into it. It's going pretty slow. I don't have 3G in uh, my area. It's loading up here. So you got, you can browse, here's the app store right here. You can see at the top there you've got apps, games, and downloads. So we'll go to apps here. It pulls up a whole other menu here. I know you can't see it. There you go. All applications, comics, communication, entertainment, finance, health, lifestyle, multimedia, news and weather, productivity, reference. So these are just your categories here. You've got a lot of them as you can see. Um, there's thousands and thousands of apps. Um, some of the best ones that I have downloaded um, are Google Maps with navigation um, for free. Um, this is good on Android 1.5 devices and better, I think, or 1.6, I'm not quite sure. But you can see here, if you have your GPS enabled, it will show you where you're at. So you can see on there the little blinking dot, that's where I'm actually at. Um, if you pull up the menu, you can get directions. So we'll say endpoint we'll say Mall of America that's in Minnesota so you type in Mall of America up there hit go it finds it getting driving directions and it pulls it up on Bloomington Minnesota 
that's where it's at so I'll click that then you can either show it on map or navigate I'll click navigate so then it loads it up <clears throat> so anyways then I have to enable my GPS um, and it'll work go back here now it's getting driving directions it's 52 miles searching for GPS so yeah this is the application um, I have used it it works great um, I use it for a place that I've never been to and it worked um, it's got you know the voice and everything it'll tell you the very robotic voice um, but we'll get out of that as far as battery life goes on this um, it's pretty good it lasts me a good day depending on what you're doing I have Twitter in the background all day and I still have half a battery if I let it go overnight I'll probably be really low in the morning so it'll last you a good day um, as far as typing on here um, I don't really like the on-screen keyboard it's not it's just too slow um, I haven't ever used an iPhone's keyboard but I have used the iPod touch first gen and that is faster than this keyboard but you can see here you can either have it in landscape or portrait so you can see there that's portrait turn it you can see the time that it takes to switch the screen there um, but yeah that's the keyboard um, I found that it doesn't keep up with me I'll type faster than it can handle so I'll just type what are you doing here quick and it actually worked but you can see there I typed it pretty fast and it was accurate it does auto correct for you so that's good if it didn't have that it'd be absolutely terrible I've gotten pretty frustrated with it um, but other than that it's good um, the speakers on it are good um, call quality is good signal strength is good I'll show you a quick song here the song interface is really good. You just got your whole list of songs. You can scroll right through them. So I'll just play one. <clears throat> Head northeast on 290. And there's the navigation going. Toward Whiskey Road northeast. But here's the speaker. You can turn it up right on the side with the volume toggle. So you can see there, it's pretty loud. Um, I don't really know what else to go over here. Um, let's see the dialer. Just obviously a dialer here. You can dial your number. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, there's not too much else to go over with it. Uh, it's the best phone I've ever had. Um, however, if I could get an iPhone, I think I would be just because not because of AT&T obviously they I am not a fan of them but just because it's the on-screen keyboard on this is not the best it's not the greatest it's slow um, there are applications that you can buy out there for three dollars for a different skin however I don't know if that really changes you know how responsive the keyboard is and how fast like it's just it seems like it's slow and it can't keep up with you so I haven't bought that. Maybe it'll fix it. Maybe it won't. I'm not sure. Uh, there's mixed reviews on it if you see what people have said. Um, but yeah, it's it's not a bad phone. Besides the texting, that's the only really complaint that I have. So if you're a big texter, I would not recommend this phone. Um, there's only on screen. There's no physical keyboard. So other than that, um, it's $150. If you're gonna get a two-year plan, and I believe 500 if you're not, so it's a pretty spendy phone. The, the other droids out there would probably be a better choice. But anyways, we're running out of time here, so if you have any additional questions, um, I kind of went over this as fast as I could. Um, leave them below, and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.